Today we're going to be talking about wound care. We do a couple different procedures where this would be required for you to do some wound care at home. So one of them being an excision where you would have a suture line. This would also be pertinent for a Mohs procedure. Um, the other one could be for a biopsy or an EDNC, which is short for electrodesiccation and curettage. So I'm going to talk about how to take care of both of these um, and some restrictions that you may have afterwards. Every day after either of these procedures, you're going to let the water run over the site when you are in the shower. Avoid submerging your site in water. That means avoiding a hot tub, bathtub, pool, or sauna. Even though we don't want you to submerge your site in water, you can let the water run over it when you're in the shower. Use a gentle soap without any fragrance to the area and you're just going to gently lather the site. You don't want to use anything exfoliating or abrasive that has any grit to it, just a gentle, fragrance-free soap. Once you get out of the shower, you can pat the area dry gently with a towel. Again, don't rub or do anything too abrasive to the wound. Once it's patted dry, you're going to take a Q-tip with Vaseline and apply this to the area, gently going over your incision site. If it's a round excision or a biopsy or an EDNC, just kind of circular, placing that around the wound. And you'll apply a bandage over top of it to keep it protected. So if it's something like a biopsy or an EDNC, um, these small bandages are fine because that non-stick portion will cover it. So we can just place that over top sealing all the edges. If it is something longer like this, it's hard to find a bandage that's going to fit over that. So we recommend these non-stick pads or a Telfa pad. They come in a sheet that's typically about this size and then you can cut it to whatever length you need. You can cut it circular, you can cut whatever you need to fit that site. This, then you'll lay over top of this and then um, there's a couple different things you can use to put over top. One of our favorites here is just using a clear film like this to lay over the top. It seals the site in so you can um, lay this on flat like this and peel off the edges. Both of these items you can typically find at a pharmacy. Um, if you are a person that has a sensitivity to adhesive or anything sticky like this you could use a paper tape which you could also find at a pharmacy and that you're just going to peel off strips and stick to the outer edges of that. Um, if it's a site that's on the face where it's a hard area like around the nose or the ear where there might be more oil production you can use an alcohol pad to clean those edges and get all the oil off before you use a tape or a, a pad and a sticky pad like this. So you'll do this each day. So the next day you would take this off, again, wash it gently, and then apply another strip of Vaseline and a bandage. We recommend that you don't use Vasotracin or Neosporin to your wound and stick with straight Vaseline. Neosporin and Vasotracin can actually cause irritation to the site. After your procedure, you wanna take it easy. No heavy lifting or strenuous exercise. You don't want to do anything that's going to strain the area and cause the suture to have strain or to pop open that could cause additional scarring or irritation to the area. To review, after you have an excision, Mohs, biopsy, or an EDNC, you're going to gently wash your wound every day, letting the water run over that site, washing it with a gentle soap, and patting it dry. You'll apply Vaseline to your wound daily and then cover with a bandage. You'll be given a brochure when you leave that goes into detail about all of this wound care. But if you ever have any questions at all, please reach out to our clinic. You'll also be sent an email that contains further information about how to take care of your wound with pictures that detail what an abnormal site looks like and what normal healing looks like. Again, please reach out to our clinic if you have any questions at all.